Good morning. You might soon be wondering why is this French accordion music being played with this Norwegian winter landscape? <laughs> well, it so happens that after a long search, we found ourselves the boat we were looking for, and she turns out to be French. So we didn't find her in France, but up north, far out on a tiny little island called Sula, by the coast of Norway. We had to see her, so we flew a few hundred kilometers up to Trondheim, drove a few hours out to the coast, hopped on a ferry that also took <laughs> some hours out to the middle of nowhere. Beautiful trip, frozen landscapes. Maybe not the time of year you would be thinking about sailing, but uh, yeah, what can you do? You can't really plan these things. I believe that day we had all types of weather. It was sunny, it was freezing, it was windy, cloudy, wavy, finishing it off with a snow blizzard when we arrived in Sula. <laughs> she is a JNF 38, designed by Joubert, Nivelle and Fricor. The same guys that have been designing uh, some of the Omni models for Alubot. Built by the CNA shipyard in uh, Bordeaux. With over average strong hull and rig, she is really a boat to feel safe and comfortable. A lot of windows, I would say close to 360 view from the pantry and saloon. Giving an open space with lots of light. Kind of like a pilot house feel to it. She has a lifting keel, making it easy to travel to very shallow waters and uh, even beacher. And the stern platform. Perfect. So finally we arrived in Sula. We got a warm welcome from the owners of Foren, a lovely French couple. Captain Lou and his beloved Chris. A couple of hard-working dreamers. They fulfilled their wish of sailing and wintering in the Nordic seas. Spent around 11 years on their journey. Great musicians. We, we were so lucky to get a private concert later in uh, Hitra. Uh, but by looking at this clip, you wouldn't say that the winds were blasting outside. We had gusts hitting 50 to 60 knots, uh, Foren was healing, and there we were having a full concert. <laughs> and now Luke and Chris, they were ready to get back home to family, friends and their farm in uh, France. And there she was, Thoren, waiting for new adventures under a pile of snow. <laughs> we could barely see her. We had to dig her out to see what, what she was. <laughs> and little did we know then that we would be the lucky ones to continue the journey with Thoren, our own robust traveling circus. First trip! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> 